What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to the Convergence. Obviously feeling much better today. Still a little bit sick, uh, but the fever is broken. That's the big thing. I'm like 90% sure it's strep, so as soon as I get on antibiotics, this will be all gone. Uh, but as you can see, we have respect once again. This time we are over at a Dragonkin style build. So we have the Underworld Great Mace we're going to be using. This does frost buildup, blood loss, which is interesting. Uh, and then it's lightning based damage. Over here, we have the Dragonkin Scepter. This is going to be what boosts the damage for our spells, which are considered lightning. Uh, I didn't have a really good set, so I went with the Carrion, which just increases my intelligence and reduces weapon stamina cost. I figure that works. Um, let me, I didn't swap this out yet. I don't know if I have magic. I guess I don't. Well, instead of that, I'll do a... Uh, you? Do you and... Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Physical fire, holy, I got all that. Don't have anything for magic though. More runes, I guess. So taking a look at the spells. Uh, these spells are based around the frozen lightning type stuff. So this is gonna create a lightning wisp that fires at enemies, launch several frozen bubbles that are lightning, frozen armament put on our weapon, single wisp of frozen lightning, cover your body in bubbles, produces a gigantic bubble containing frozen lightning, uh, landmine charged with frozen lightning at your peak dispels enemy spells and retaliates with frozen crag bolts strike the ground with your staff to cover the ground around you with frozen lightning Cover your body with a giant bubble containing frozen lightning creates a spear of ice lightning and stabs it into the ground all sorts of stuff but it sounds really cool this stuff sounds really cool and then of course we also have uh this thing which i think has a pretty pretty flashy Boom! Which completely whiffed that guy. Let's see what happens if I use it to somebody on the same elevation. Alright, well he died outright. So it's not, a, not the best example. Kind of, kind of mid. Though I like that we're like queuing it up. And then as we're queuing it up, it's then firing off like zap, 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 zap. Try the bubbles. Wow. I was like, I'm gonna die. So bubbles are insanely strong, especially if I use them like a shotgun. So you could have just like kill this dude out, right? Seems like quite the Respectable damage coming out of that. So far I'm liking it more than necromancy, that's for sure. Which I know, I know, it's a necromancy build and I didn't use summons, blah blah blah. But like I said, it's not the same, man. It's not, who's, I summon forth Kaiden Cell Sword. Look, like, no, it's just some dude. If we're talking necromancy, I want stuff. I roll wisp. What do you do? Do attack stuff? Ow. Okay, the impact from that is devastating. To be honest, Cragbolt Wisp seems kind of middling. It's just like, eh. Compared to like how much damage the bubbles do. Can I stack Cragbolt Wisp? So can I have like multiple Wisps? No, I cannot. Armor of bubbles. Ah. 
Wow. That did some serious damage mitigation. I guess the startup of that attack has iframes. Armor Bubble seems great. He attacked me. That is that is an insanely low amount of damage, considering the enemy we were up against. Oh. I died. And my bubble armor fell off. That's probably why. Bubble armor OP. I like to start by just like putting on all the different stuff though, you know? You were okay-ish. Don't think I need you on. Don't need you on. Additional stamina region, physical absorption 20% and reduce equip load. Oh, ends after being hit three or more times. Okay, damn, well. That sucks. Let's see, I might be able to pull off a... What was defense? Oh, these, these suck. Have more damage, I guess. Are you going to go from 10% to 12.5 but take more damage all around? Great Dragon Ken Baba! Maybe I'm supposed to charge it. It's hard to take that seriously when the little bubbles do such intense amounts of damage. That's pretty funny. Come and get me. Come and get me. Ha ha. Ha ha. Chase me. Chase me. <laughs> Idiot. Craigbolt Mine seems fun. It's situational, but good damage. Looks like it has a bit of a, a kick up on it or a knockback. Stuff like that is always useful, in my opinion. Dragon can retaliation is strictly spell counter. Those can also be used to parry attacks from enemies, okay. have mimics I'm gonna think I don't I don't think there are mimics in Elden Ring I'm crazy Elden Ring mimic mimic chest yeah Elden Ring doesn't have mimic chests huh I mean it's been so long since I've thought about it and I'm just like wait a minute
Oh god. Oh. Terrifying. What is it? Long ass cast. Everything needs to die. Maybe this bubble shield's better? Seems very mediocre. God, dude, get off of me. What the fuck is that? It's doing like nothing. I don't want anything to do with that. There's too many of them. Have the next thing anyway. No, wait, it's the one over to the left of that. Let me take a look at some of these. Um, you were... Didn't really like you. Cragbolt mine, I did like you. <laughs> Haven't really gotten to use you, but you could be cool. Actually, let me... Let me think here. So let's first, let's let's go through stuff. All FP 20%, adds FP regeneration, reduce stamina and health, and decrease weapon damage. Hmm. Not really a big fan of these. You lose half your health. Fire off crag bolts in rapid succession. I'd want to have the spell parry as my first spell. Damn, 75% absorption ends after being hit once. But I do like that when it'll explode and deal damage to the enemy. Do that. Mine. Frozen lightning stake. Crag bolt spear. Down poor thing. There's the mine, and then there's the mine field. There's a lightning storm. It's much slower, but it's a lot.
that's a long fucking delay. It was like after a delay. Like, what? How long of a delay? Like, it needs to straight up, like, kill these dudes. I don't think that's worth. Stake looks good, 600 on hit, a little over 600 on explosion. Spear is nice, 583 and some knockdown on that. These are actually really good enemies to test all this shit against. Oh, you know what? I should go over and do what's it called. I didn't do that. You get a seed. Here, this thing. Pretty sure I can just jump down to it. Yeah. It takes too long for this thing to go off. Expectable big damage on a boss. Oh, I'm dead. No, oh, probably not. And I hurt though. Ragbolt Torrent is my main boss nuke. It's basically uh, Comet Azure, but Cragbolts. Things I'm not sure about. Dragonkin Downpour and Frozen Lightning Storm. Those are the two that I haven't really done that much with that I want to see their potency. Some of the stuff, it's very clear that it's it's just mediocre, not really worth it. Downpour, I don't know. Downpour hasn't been established as good or bad yet. That seems... 
I don't know. That seems not that good. Like, I think maybe on a big target, that might do something, but on the shit that I'm fighting, it ain't worth it. The weapon is lovely, though. Shit, that hurt. your ass. I do like that spell parry and a parry all in one. That's super nice. Very convenient. Get out of here. Care about you. I'm looking for this grace. All right. Going to um. Yeah, I guess more mind. More mind never hurts. And then... Uh... That. That. And that. Just want to swap those. I think we're going to drop this. I'm not seeing returns on this at all. Like, it's a cool idea. It takes way too long to execute. So then we're going to do our damage with bubbles and great bubble volley. Um... I wish I could just swap spells instead of having to do that. So like single target AoE, single target AoE. 35 compared to 12. 31, wow. Maybe I don't want Cragbolt Spear. That kick up is pretty nice though. Not sure about you yet. You're obviously great AoE. I think you're AoE. And then let's put on this Wisdom of the Makers thing. Yeah, it's this way. I love losing half my health. Be the perfect target to try this shit out on. So on a big target, that's quite significant. from that. I might get rid of Great Bubble Volley. Actually, you know what I should do? I'm going to run back to... Um, after we get up here, after we take down the boss, go back to base. I'm going to go on the test dummy. thing is the little bubbles, if I use those close range like a shotgun, 
I don't even think that's the true damage. I think that's just stuff dying before the rest proc. Knockback on that is pretty intense. Alright. Boss fight damage tests. Sigur Knight's Captain. 1429 off bubbles. I think I procked the thing there. Ow. Interesting boss. I like his weapon a lot. I mean, the little bubbles, they're doing insane damage. Let's try Great Bubble Volley this time. Very aggressive. That was the frostbite proc. Quick 2600 there. I need like a, a big, big target. Can't use that buff. I mean, it's it's fine for progression, but like, dude, trying to fight a boss when you're missing half your health is just ass. Let's try Dragonkin. I want to see. Shit, those things hurt so bad. I didn't do damage like this when I was using Necromancer shit. What the fuck? Bro just kept going. Leave me alone. I can 
get this off. Range on that is really nice. I don't think I would have been able to do it with bubbles right there. I like that boss. That's really cool. I'm not sure how well he he fits into the you know this area. I guess he's using death stuff, and uh, the dude up ahead uses death stuff. But like, I'm trying to think. I'm like, I'm not sure how you like. You don't fit. I mean, to me, it doesn't seem like he fits that well. Fuck. Hello? <laughs> okay. Super weird. I thought maybe we like interact with the horse and it takes us somewhere. <clears throat> Elden Lord. To do stats as a boosting. Strength four, weapon stamina cost by eight. So just the, the ultimate of Ungabunga sets. Hard. It's hard to tell in Dragonkin. I feel like Dragonkin Downpour might be good against super large targets, like stuff that's big, you know, dragons, basically. Stuff that's mostly stationary, ain't moving too much. And then Frozen Lightning Storm, I'm not even sure the purpose of this. So we see, like, a strike, and then it expands outward. Maybe on, like, the biggest of targets, but... Time to use that all up. I'm trying to get out my minefield, bro. Chill out. Okay, Dragonkin Downpour is good. Very 
very good. 3,500. Oh, wow. Go, go lightning storm. I feel like it needs, I need, uh. oh god, oh god, okay. Damage on lightning storm is good, but it needs a bigger target to be valuable. Oh shit. Nope, I'm dead. Oh no, I didn't kill me. Amazing. All I need is some crag bolts and I'm done. Yeah, crag bolt is 100% inclusion. The speed on that is very impressive. Fast damage, rolling relic, Morgan's great ring, remembrance, and the fourth keystone of the forge. Let's see, let's see. The items. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, looks like we just had to kill him. Um, good. So, Millennia, Lord of Blood, Dragon Lord. Yeah, I mean, fifth has to be. If Millennia and Plassey are part of this, the fifth has to be. Um, what's his face? Malachath. Um, what else did I get off of you? Check out their stuff in a bit. Like, I think there could be potential for Lightning Storm, but it's gonna be like, you know, I'm fighting a dragon. I'm fighting Plassey. I'm fighting Fortisax. I'm fighting stuff like that. Which I wonder where Fortisax is at. I wonder if he's still where he typically is. So I gotta trigger this cutscene. We had on time. Yeah, we can try and go hunt his ass down. Let me actually, while they're talking, I'm gonna Allow me a moment. check the Discord. With you. you were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable. A husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. Oh, not four to six, so I'm thinking like Lana six. A new journey with me to the flame of ruin, far above the clouds. Upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants, then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Anna Sex, Elden Ring. Let's see, I think he's who I wanted. This new pathway to the new Lanisex Arena and Plassey. Ian Belt is at the top. That's all you need. That one, then Sully and Caleb has one. Wait, what? Huh. I'm reading some interesting shit.
what I'm reading here. Atlantis 6 is near Plassey in the mod. Oh, here we go. Drop down was after the fog gate. Huh. Yeah, I guess we'll just make our way over there and find out. Um. And she's like, go to the grand lift. And I'm like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can, I can go there. I guess we could try just murder fire giant real fast. Let me reorganize some spells. I think I'm gonna drop you. You're cool, but I'm gonna drop you. Um, I don't think you're worth caving on. You're good. Yeah, this is a this is a better setup. His ass was replaced. I hate this boss. One of the few bosses in Elden Ring I genuinely just dislike. and lightning storm to seem more mediocre by the cast. Three thousand that time, but I think that was largely due to a proc. I don't even know what happened there. I was like looking at his health bar and then I guess mine was just gone. Probably the fire. Take it off. Actually what I should do is cast downpour should cast downpour and then swap to torrent and, and immediately nuke. Okay, yeah, probably like. I mean, he should die right here. I had him like, oh, I got a couple more attempts, and I'm gonna wrap up. And I'm like, no, this thing's gonna die fast.
tried to get me with the elbow drop. Fighting Bagel Goose. Get off the torrent. I should have him down. Oh god. Downpour is just doing so much damage. Downpour definitely carried that for sure. Because like, especially towards the end there, I tried getting Cragbolt and it just it wasn't doing nearly enough. What's this? That's interesting. I don't remember this statue thing or Some super unique weapon we get. Sword of the Cyclops. Some edgy new weapon. One of the ones I didn't add in. It's because I was like, I'm not doing fire builds. Eh, maybe I'll try it out with my other build. Looks immolation. I'm guessing that's like burn until death or something. Alright, let's... Hmm. That's interesting. Seek Malaketh, the Black Blade. Okay. Uh, hmm. Um. This. How do I get to Faroom? Apparently you have to use the Belfries now. Another portal to Faroon behind Bestial Sanctum and Kaled. Our giant, yeah. When of Faroon early is the best way to get plus nine fast. Clear shortcut and crump. Huh, okay. So, and we could do the Belfries or do this. I mean, we already have this. Let's go check this out, see if we can find the portal. So if it really is as simple as, like, walk behind this place and I'm in for room, then there we go. I'll say this, this build was, um, this was fun. Compared to Necromancy. Necromancy felt very, very mid. Um, Frenzy felt okay. I'd say the coolest thing about Frenzy was probably the weapon. A couple big standouts here were the uh, the spear, the 
Oh, look, there's a boss all the way down there. Huh. The speed that the uh, the spear throw is, that was quite impressive. I like that a lot. Uh, the downpour, insane damage in the right setup. like that a lot. Yeah, we're going all the way down to this, dude. If I can figure out how to get down there. Um, weapon's pretty cool. Here we go. I don't think I would put this ahead of uh, Black Flame. But certainly put it ahead of Frenzy. That's the dude that's usually guarding the... I'm guessing I kill you and that takes me to Furumazula. Uh, oh yeah, Bubble Shield? Bubble Shield is fantastic. I like that a lot. Just, you're gonna mitigate out only one. One move, but you're going to mitigate it out almost completely. That's actually really nice to me. I'm a big fan of that. Soft cotton. Spear was fast. Downpour was good. It sucks that all the buffs we found so far are, like, so extreme. Like, deal more damage, but lose half your health. Like, what? Dude, no. Ooh, this looks too far to fall. I can use the cotton and survive it. Still, I don't like this. Okay. There's definitely an entrance to Furumazula. Look at all the gravity rocks and shit over here. One last thing that we're going to kill with this set. Minefield's cool, but... Oh! Thought he stepped back farther than he did. I mean, seeing the little minefield procs for like 154, I'm kind of like, eh, you're not really doing anything, are you? I don't think this has the like near infinite range that 
the uh, the other one had Ahmed Azure. Yeah, no, it falls short. So So that's what I should be doing, it's just summoning up multiple of those orbs, blast these dudes away. Into Furumazula we go. Let me go run up and grab the grace real fast. Oh. Ah. You know what? I'll just... There's there's one here. I can teleport back here at any time. Let's wrap up. Um, so, we are going to respec again. Um, this one, I, I, liked, I liked this build. This is fun. I think the biggest, biggest takeaways here, for me at least, Underworld Bubble Shield is pretty clutch. Just giving you like a, if something comes in, it's mitigated. Uh, Dragonkin Downpour, obviously fantastic. I think I would still rock this on a different build if I ended up being Sorcery. And then Cragbolt Spear, the speed that this thing comes out makes it pretty hard to beat. So I'd say these, these two right here, these are probably my favorites from this. Um, as for what we're doing next, we're already doing Sorcery. So I think we're gonna try Blood Sorcery. I'll do that. And then after Blood Sorcery, we will go for Blood and Faith. And then after that, I'll go pure faith and we'll we'll try out the lightning, which is a little more vanilla-ish, but it's, you know, a spec that I tend to be fond of. So I'm going to wrap things up here. Y'all stay tuned, though, and we'll have 